Hello, my name is Michael. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we'll be looking at how to install WordPress on your local server. Alright, so let's just get started. For you to start installing your WordPress on your system, on your local server, first of all, you need to search for WordPress. If you don't have it already, just come to and Google for WordPress download. Then visit uh, this first option here. And simply click here to download your wordpress once you download once you click on this download you are going to actually have uh you will actually be downloading a zipped file of the wordpress so let's just go ahead and click on it and let it download oh fine it's downloading now all right now our wordpress has been downloaded okay now let's find out how to install this WordPress on a local server. Okay. Now, if you're looking at what we just downloaded now, you find out the requirements here. We you be needing PHP, MySQL, and you also be needing either MySQL or my or Maya database, the latest version of it. Okay. And it's most recommended that you run it on your Apache server. So if you want to host it on your on a remote server, you you have already a hosting company where you can actually host your WordPress, but in this video tutorial, we'll be looking at how to install it first on your ZAMP on your local host. Okay, so let's get kick off now. On this other place here, this is where you can uh, you see a, a guideline here on how to install the WordPress on your local server. Okay, so first of all, you're going to uh, download an unzip which you've already done, then you create a database for your WordPress on your server and uh, again you are going to unzip the file so let's just go straight to my local to this place fine now I, I want to create a database for this my website for example my wordpress i can just come to database here i'll just simply create a database and i'll name it for the sake of this tutorial i'll name it wordpress but always have it in mind if you have to upload this on your server most uh most remote servers require that your database name will be prefixed with your username for example if your username for the cpanel is uh is james or probably your let's say james or uh, okay you are creating a, a website for uh, a shopping mall and probably your username is shop then most of these uh cpanels will recommend that your database name goes like this maybe shop wordpress so it's always recommended that you check out your cPanel details to find out what is required. But for the sake of this uh, video tutorial on our WordPress, we are going to make use of Shop WordPress. Okay. Now, now we have done this. Just go ahead and click on Create. The next thing we want to do is to add a user for our add a user for our our database that we've just created. Now, so we we'll simply come ahead here and click on back on our server and user accounts now on the user account tabs you see that we have uh, different users here we have the local host and that the host name the roots blah, blah. now we want to add a new user specifically for our wordpress website so i'll go ahead and click on add user now here we are going to add a username for your user for your wordpress account so let's say i call it shop as the username call it shop and the host name usually it is localhost though not all cpanel not all remote servers will take localhost but that is the most widely used uh, server name okay then for the password you can decide to generate a password here for yourself or type in one for yourself so but try to make your password secure so in my own case I'll be just be typing shop I'll just be typing shop one two three as my password so I will type it here shop one two three all right then I'll come up here again I'll have to add some privileges okay so I will simply come here and grant all these privileges here I don't want to grab this for now so come down here and click on go all 
right now a new user has been created called shop and the password is shop123 all right close this now the next thing we would like to do here is will be to go and add this privileges to the database which just created so we navigate to this database tab here and we come down we choose the wordpress and then we just click on go all right so we have actually added it our privileges to the shop wordpress database that we just created now all right okay so now we are good to go so next thing we're going to do will be to go and uh, unzip our file so here show in folder let me open it up and i like to extract this but then while trying to extract this let me quickly open up my okay let's just extract it here actually just extract and extract here Okay, I'm extracting it into this place. Extracts. Okay, let's wait while the extraction is being done. All right, so our extraction is still going on and almost about to be completed. So we wait for it. go 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 all right fine we have succeeded in extracting our wordpress we have succeeded in extracting our wordpress site so the wordpress should this, this is it okay and if you open this folder you will notice that we have wordpress inside and if you go ahead to open it again you notice that we have whole lots of contents inside here okay now what we're going to do is to get the content of this now if you are installing this on your local server you need to first of all determine which part you want to install it on if you are installing it on your remote server that is on your cpanel then you decide whether you want it to be on if you want your site to be as a subdomain or you want it to appear on on the root for instance like according to wordpress here here we are you can actually look at this you have to run the wordpress installation script by accessing the URL in your web browser if you install wordpress in the root directory you should visit this if you install wordpress in its own directory uh, subdirectory called blog for example you should visit this all right but in our own case scenario now we were installing on our local server so all i will do is to open what I'll do will be to simply open up my C drive, navigate down to my ZAMP. Okay, and on um, the ZAMP, open my htdocs. And I want to create a site called shop. So simply create a folder. Simply create a folder right here and call it shop okay that's the site i'm creating so that becomes my website what i will do next will be to copy the content of the wordpress i just extracted into that place so i'll come to my wordpress here and open the wordpress and pick every content inside here and copy into shop just move it into that place you can copy and move in my own case i just moved it just take note of what i did i did not really copy the wordpress itself rather i took the content of the wordpress and so if you open my shop now i have my wordpress contents inside it fine 
In a normal case, we would have gone to uh, edit this WP config. This WP config, we can change it to uh, WP config.php and then edit the the content the details here. But we would like to first see what happens. So let's come back to here and assess our shop website. So shop. Once you type in localhost shop alright you notice that this is what we get so we need to start installation and the first thing we need to do is pick up the language which is English and then we continue Now, welcome to WordPress. Before getting started, we need some information on the database. You will need to know the following items before proceeding. That's the database name, the username, the password, the host. So we are going to be uh, using all the details of what we just created in our in our PHP my admin. So let's go. Fine. Now the database name like I used was shop underscore WordPress. And the username I used was shop and the password I used shop123 and my database host is localhost. So my double prefix I leave it as WP. Alright, then submit. Fine. Alright, Sparky, you've made it through this part of it. the installation. WordPress can now communicate with your database. If you are ready time now to run the installation all right then I'll go ahead and give my site a title I'll call it my shopping mall shopping mall okay the username I'll still go ahead to call it shop Okay, and the password, I'll still like to give it shop123, though it's very weak. For the sake of this tutorial, don't, don't bother about it. Okay, confirm password, confirm use of weak password, yeah, okay, then email, alright. Is, I don't there is not recommended in case you are doing this on your remote server it's not recommended that you discourage search engines from indexing your site so let's go ahead and install our WordPress okay so we wait while it loads for the installation Alright, so everything went well. WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Username is shop and the password is the password I just have. So I'll click on login. Alright, good to go. So I'm going to log in with uh, my username and my password. Okay, and the password I use is shop one two three and the username is shop all right login and i would like you to always remember me so login and that takes me to my wordpress admin so wonderful we have succeeded in installing wordpress on our local server on our local host in Azamp. Fine. Now let us try to view our shop again. So localhost so our shop. Alright. And this is normally the first 
uh, web page you always see when you have hosted your or when you have installed WordPress on your cPanel or on anywhere at all. This is usually the first page. So all you need to do now would be to start working on this page, start creating, download the templates, use your plugins and rest of them. So we always assess our WordPress backend, the admin of our WordPress is usually assessed using the WP. Just like when it is on a local on a remote server, all you need to do is to type in for example www.shop.com slash WP admin and that will take you to the WordPress admin on your look on your remote server. But here on our local on our local server we just access it via localhost slash shop slash web WP admin. So here we can make your posts you can come to appearance, change your themes, your customize your widgets, your menus, your theme editor, and the rest of them. So this is how WordPress is done. So you can go ahead and do so many other things you want to do with your WordPress, just like every other stuff. Okay. So that will be all for now on how to install WordPress on your local server. Thank you. Okay. Probably you want to now. Put this up on your for example let's say you want to uh upload these you are done with the website you want to upload it on your on your remote server it's very very simple all you need to do is just open up your cpanel and for example have account with uh, mocha hosts.com or uh, let me just visit one of my C panels called realstarsin.com slash C panel. So I'm going to log into my C panel here. Okay, so I successfully logged into my See panel details and my panel will be coming up soon. Boom. Now, once uh, the C panel is open, this is normally the way most of the C panels you'll be seeing online will look like. Once you log in, you have so many things. Most of this, uh, most of these C panels will give you option to install WordPress or to install Joomla or any of the content management systems you wish to use on your on your website so if you want to install wordpress directly on your cpanel once you have hosted the your website and you've obtained the cpanel the cpanel details are usually sent to your to your email address so once you have logged into your wordpress your your cpanel successfully the next thing you might want to do will be to install wordpress here so once you click here you choose what uh, where you want to actually install that but now that we are working offline the process will now be different so if i actually wanted to install this this is where i would have gone to and then click on install now and then follow the steps and the procedures there to install the wordpress on my uh, desired uh, domain okay so but in our own case now we built the website on our local server on our using our exam and we want to upload the website now to the to our webs to our C panel. Fine. All I need to do will be this. Already I have some I've already in my file manager here already I have this is where you you upload your details. On the file manager on the file manager you you are likely to have the public HTML and that is the root directory where you should always upload your your uh, your your website you just built from your XAMPP. Fine. Now, in my own case, I'm not gonna open this public HTML because already I have some files in it. Okay. So probably you want to install uh, upload this as a subdomain. So we'll quickly come down to uh, sites under domains and we're going to have subdomains. So we can come here and create a sub 
domain oh let me try it again and again Okay, so a subdomain you can create a subdomain here. I'll call this shop, and it's residing on this domain here. Okay, and the root is shop dot stairs, and then we click on create. Okay, now we have a subdomain created. So now that I've created my subdomain, it means that if I come back to my to the cPanel homepage and come to my file manager on the file manager, I should see public HTML again, and I will see shop royal royal stars, which I can even open it and this is where i can upload my wordpress details so all i can do here now if i want to i can use my ftp like filezilla to actually upload this so using my filezilla i can simply come to my zamp htdocs and copy all these and upload them to my cpanel or better still i can zip it up and then upload the zip file on this place then unzip it and you are good to go once you zip everything and then unzip it here you are good to go on your C panel for the sake of this uh, tutorial I won't be doing all these stuffs but I'm likely to make a new video on how to host your website from mocha host or using GoDaddy then after buying the domain name we are going to actually upload our 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 WordPress thank you for watching good luck